Hey guys, welcome to another lunch and review. Today I'm going to try one of these Vista Hermosa. This is a Burrito Buena. Uh, this is bean and oxa saw cheese. It's some kind of quesilla cheese. It's like a white cheese that's kind of similar to, I looked it up, it's similar to uh, like a mozzarella texture. Um, so anyway, yeah, and, a, and uh, a Monterey Jack cheese, kind of a mixture between the two. So never heard of that cheese before, but you can buy it in packages and stuff and it's from Mexico. Um, this is a frozen burrito. It is eight ounces or 227 grams. We bought this at Meyer. It was $4.99. It is a hand rolled burrito, but $5 is a little expensive burritos, but you know, it, it is what it is. We'll, we'll see what it's like. Um, you can eat the whole burrito for 430 calories and there's the other info for you. So heating directions, I think it's, yeah it is, hold on. Okay, so you can do it in the oven if you want to. There's the oven directions. Of course, we're not gonna do it in the oven, but there it is if you want it. For the microwave, do not thaw. So sometimes you do heat these up and I mean, sometimes you thaw them out, this one you don't. It says, do not thaw, remove from wrapper and, and place burrito on a microwave safe plate, uh, fold side down. Place another, pro tip, place another microwave safe plate over the burrito. I guess it's to help keep the steam in. Um, heat on high for two minutes, remove the top plate and heat for another one minute or until hot and let it sit for three minutes before enjoying to let it kind of equalize and stuff. And it says it's a medium um, heat level. So I have two paper plates. One of them I put a piece of parchment paper on and another one I just, I'll put on top. So I will open pretty easily. That's good. Yeah, that's a good size burrito. So I'm gonna lay it just like that. I'm gonna lay this one on top of it and I'll get it in the microwave and uh, I'll come back. The good thing about the parchment paper is it keeps it from sticking to the paper plate. So if you had a regular plate, you probably wouldn't need to do that. So anyway, I'll be right back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave and it did, it, it kind of uh, let the cheese run over, but at least it has pretty fresh cheese. And you know, it's funny is um, it said this is like a white cheese, but it's like a pretty yellow cheese to me. I don't know if that's uh, the salsa or the seasonings or whatever, but let's see. Let's cut into it and see what it looks like. It's kind of runny on the inside, honestly. It's kind of watery. That's what it looks like inside. The parchment paper did keep it from sticking, so that's a good thing. But yeah, it's kind of um, it's kind of watery on the inside. So anyway, I am going to let this um, cool off for a minute. And uh, it's just beans and cheese, so there's no meat or anything. But you see it's got pinto beans and black beans. So I'm going to cut this into smaller pieces just so I can deal with it on video. And I'll be back. All right, so I'll let it cool off a little bit. Here's the bite I'm gonna take. I did read on the ingredients. It does have jalapeno and a couple other chilies and spices in that garlic and that kind of stuff. So um, I am expecting a little bit more of a, um, or a little bit of a pepper heat, chili pepper hit um, coming through. I can honestly say texture-wise, it's not bad. The the tortilla itself is very uh, uh, tender, and it has a, a nice texture to it. It's got a nice chew to it without being like hard or dry out or anything like that. It's not crunchy or anything like that. Um, it does have a nice burrito texture. Hmm. Even the end piece where it has like folded over, you know, it's all folded together on the end. Even that, a lot of burritos get really hard and dried out on the ends. This one's not, it's very tender. So I like the texture of it. The beans themselves are cooked very well. They're, they're not hard. Even the black beans seem to be pretty tender. Let me try a couple by themselves. No, they're soft for a black bean. They're, they're pretty soft because most black beans are a little tougher anyway. Um, they're like a pinto bean, but these have a nice, um, a soft texture to them. The skin on them has still got some toughness to them, but the actual bean itself is cooked pretty well. And the pinto beans cooked really nice too. The overall texture inside though is very soft. And then you get the little bit of a chew for the tortilla itself. Not bad, but just know there's no, like there's no real texture to it. There's no crunch or anything like that, which you know, you don't necessarily expect that in this uh, kind of burrito. Um, so texture-wise, I'm happy. I'm happy with the texture. I think it's really, really nice. 
Um, flavor wise, I am getting the heat from the chilies. It seems like it's a, it's a jalapeno heat to me. Um, I get the flavor of the jalapeno a little bit. Beyond that, you really only taste the beans, uh, truthfully. I don't, get, um, I don't get the flavor of the cheese really at all, um, which is surprising, counting on that makes such a big deal about the cheese. It's just beans and peppers, um, chili peppers. That's what I taste. Um, not that that's necessarily a bad thing, but it's supposed to have this, you know, this special cheese, and um, I'm not really not getting a lot of it. The, the, at least a flavor of cheese. And like I said, it's all beans and peppers. Um, not to say that that's not adding to the flavor. I just don't. It's not a standout. Oh, that's some cheese. Um, so overall, the flavor is okay. I taste. I, think, I don't really like a really strong bean flavor, and that's what this has. Um, this is not necessarily one I would buy again. I would rather have um, something with some ground beef in it, maybe a little bit more um, seasoning in it beyond just beans and peppers. But um, overall, it's okay. It's, it's not bad. I don't think it's $5 good. There's other burritos out there that you can get cheaper than that that are just as good. Um, you can get a whole bag of burritos that are pretty decent um, for probably about that price. So, so just keep that in mind. Um, this one I'm gonna give a three out of five. It's not bad. It's not great. It's just a. Uh, it's something you can eat for lunch that's gonna fill you up. But uh, just don't expect to be like wow, unless you just really like beans. Um, it does have a little bit of a vinegary kind of flavor to it too, like something that's pickled in there. I don't know if that's the peppers or what, but there's a slight uh, like vinegar flavor in there as well. So anyway, overall it's a three out of five. Hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.